Hello everyone. In this video, we will set up one function block. The function block includes all the essential MC instructions. For example, home, position move, jog, or stop. Our target is to set up this function block so we can use this function block as a positioning control template. And in the previous video, we introduced the TO technology object. And this video, we will base on this TO and we will set up the function block. Okay, let's go to the program blocks. Right click, add a new block. And then let's click this function block. At here, let's rename this function block. Positioning access. So set this number as a 100. Click OK. To control the access, firstly, very important the two function block, we need to home the access. Also, we need to reset the fault to our access. So I will prefer, firstly, let's program the reset. So to drag, to find out the PLC open MC function block, let's go to the instructions and go to the technology, shrink this, and find out the motion control. All the MC function blocks are showing here. So firstly, let's drag this MC reset. So here, keep in mind, we are trying to use this IB100, this positioning access function block as our major function block. All those MC function blocks, homes, reset, stop, or relative move, uh, velocity move, they are all controlling this positioning access. So we try to program all of those key MC function blocks within this major FB. Otherwise, we will have uh, too many individual DBs. They are so sporadic. So we will use this way, select this uh, multiple instant and click OK. So it will create one multiple instant. That means once we drag multiple MC function block here, they will share use this uh, instant DB from this uh, major FB, FB100. This is a very efficient way. It can gather all other function block together within this uh, major FB. Okay. So we right here, that is a reset, okay? And here we need to use one input from this major function block to control this execute command. So let's go to the input here. So let's name it execute MC reset. And that is one bool, okay? Drag to here, okay? And this access basically, that is our positioning access. If we drag this DB1000, drag to this access area. So once we connect here, that means once we execute this MC reset, it will reset this TO, this positioning access underscore one. So all the fault will be reset using this way. But in this case, we are trying to build up this major FB. All other MC function block will use this DB1000 to make this easy we can make this uh, positioning access TO as a parameter. So we can do this. Go to the input output here, in out here. So let's name one parameter here, access TO. So let's type in TO underscore positioning. Okay, uh, because we haven't uh, compiled this project yet. So it cannot find out now. So let's... Um, so let's template put a bool here, let's compile and make the system generate based on our configuration. Okay, after the compile, so let's type in again, TO underscore positioning. TO underscore positioning access. So we need to manually type in this and because we set up this, so from the OB1, once we call this FB100, so we can drag that DB1000 outside the function block, outside this major function block to this interface. And then within this function block, we can use this access TO here. So we can drag to here, okay, using this way. Okay, this TO, we can name it access TO. We can see after I rename it, it can automatically update. It's very handy. Okay, this is reset. To check the detail for this restart, we can hit the F1 
and check out the detailed functionalities and find out the help. For example, for this restart, if by default that is a false, that means once we execute this restart, it will acknowledge the queue, the technology alarms. If it's set to true, once we execute this MC underscore reset, it will initialize this TO. So in most of the cases, we'll leave this a uh, false. We only need to acknowledge the fault. Okay. So this is the reset. And the next one, we will drag the home. Let's select this uh, multi instant. So it will create the second, the instant in this uh, static area. Okay. And this axis, we can drag this axis to here the same way. And let's set up one input to execute this uh, MC home. Okay. This input will be SQL. Okay. And then drag to this uh, SQL here. And here, zero means once we home this axis, you can set a zero or we can set a one another value. This value will directly set into the axis. Also here, that is the mode that control different way to home the access. You better check out the help of this MC underscore home. Or you can download this menu, i7-1500. So you can download the access functions version 5.0. So you can search the MC underscore home. So it explained which way we need to home the access if you are using the active homing. So the mode will be three or five. If that is the passive homing, the mode number will be two, eight, 10. Okay. By default, we set the actual value to this axis. So default, that is a zero. That is the simplest way to set a home. Boom. Directly write a zero to the axis. Okay. This is the home. And next, this is the power. So let's drag the power. Same way, select this multi instant power. And same way, the access we can select, we can drag this uh, access TO here and enable. Keep in mind, this signal is not a trigger signal. To power on this access, this signal need to be on always. If this signal turn off, you will turn off the power on this access. So at here, let's insert. So here, that is the power enable. So I will name enable MC drag to here. The start mode will leave at one, but this is stop mode. Personally, I will select to one because uh, one means the access is a uh, break to a standing still according to the configuration in the drive. If by default, that is a zero. Once we disable this power, basically it will emergency stop. Uh, if your system has a safety control, the safety will play the role on the e-stop. So this power off can be bricked to the standard steel. We can select one. But in your system, if you do not have a safety control, so but you still want emergency stop, so we can set a zero, leave the default. So once we lose the, the true signal, turns this off, so the access will be emergency stop. And here, I would like to adjust it. So from our normal sequence, firstly, we need to reset the access and then we power on the access. And after this, we home the access. So I would like to exchange this position, power at the top and then do the home. And to power up this system, in some cases, some programmer will leave this enable always on. So it will cost one thing. For example, if we power up the system and that time your controller definitely will start up quicker or faster than our drive system. So that time if our controller already start up and MC power turn on to enable the drive system, but that time the drive or the encoder haven't boot up yet. So the system will pop up the alarm says uh, drive system is not ready, something like that. It will pop up a bunch of faults. So this enable signal need to be involved some conditions. Also, uh, in the machine system, on the MCP main control panel, there will be a main power button. That enable signal also can be controlled or can be initiated by the MCP main power button. So other than some 
normal logic, uh, here we need to evolve some actual drive or encoder actual status. Here we can click this uh, normal open contact and add one condition. So from the status here, we can add one row and name it the access ready underscore positioning access. That is a bool signal and drag to here. And we need to program some logic to control to feedback the actual ready status. How can we find out the access ready signal? Siemens provide one application example shows how can we program this. If you go to the Siemens support.industry.siemens.com and find out this ID number, and then you will find out the description for this uh, status. For example, the drive status and the sensor status. So for example, the rough idea is this. We need to guarantee the motion, the communication is okay. And the access, the drive and the encoder, their status should be okay. So at this condition, we can enable the access. And here, this example also provide this example. All right, it's very valuable to implement this similar logic in our template function block. So please follow me. Okay, from this uh, network one and two, we can insert one network, right click, click this uh, insert network, and our result will be this access ready. So we need to grab some ready status. So firstly, we can evolve the access uh, communication status. So we can use our access TO. So drag this access TO here and type in dot the status drive, select the communication OK. OK, this is the, the drive system communication OK signal. And using this way, we can involve the drive and the encoder status. And before that, we can also create some constant status. For example, we can set up uh, three constant value. So valid equal to two, adapted equal to two, not applied equal to three. So we can program, follow that example. Okay, this is the access ready summary signal. To better understand what the actual number it means, we can set up this uh, constant value. So once we need to use the actual number, we can drag this uh, constant value. For example, at here, I need to use this uh, valid. So I can drag this valid to here. So it will directly write the uh, number two for this uh, compared value here. Okay, this line basic idea is the drive shouldn't have an arrow. The communication should be okay. The sensor also need to be a correct status. And then that will give a access ready signal. And this access signal will be one of the condition to control, to enable this power. Okay. So if we shrink, the current structure is like this. So after the MC home, let's program the manual control of the access. So this MC move jog basically will be controlled by the HMI. So we can use a different button like a manual forward, manual reverse to manually jog the access. For example, in case our motion, our peak place will be stuck or stopped by somewhere. And if we need to manually move the access individually, we can use this move jog to manually control, to manually jog this single access drive system directly. Under this MC home, we can program, we can drag this move jog. Select multi-instant. So to control the jog move, we will use this jog forward and jog backward basically forward and reverse move the axis. So we will create two inputs here. Jog, reverse. Okay, let's drag to here. Also keep in mind here, the velocity, that is the jog speed, will manually control the axis. But here, the acceleration, deceleration, jerk, they are showing the minus one. So what does it mean of this minus one? Minus one means we are using the default value config from TO access. If we go to review, if we double click this positioning access, 
double click this configuration and click this uh, dynamic default value. So the default value config here, acceleration, deceleration, and jerk. So once we use this minus one, so that means the function block will use the default value from our TO configuration. Okay. All right, till now, we program the access reset, power, home, and the move jog. Basically, in actual cases, if we use those four function block, we can manually control our access. Use the forward or reverse, we can manually jog the access. We can move the motion server motor. And there are also two important function block we need to program. One is the hot, the access pulse. One is the access stop, to stop the access. Also, to automatically control the access, we will program the positioning control or the speed control. Positioning control, we have absolute control and relative control. In the next video, I will show how can we program this. See you in next video. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell. Thank you for watching.